Hello, welcome to another WebGL P5.js tutorial. In this one, I am going to, actually don't even have this on my list of stuff, but I'm going to look again at the texture function. And previously I looked at how to use an image or a video as a texture. In this video, I want to look at how to make an off-screen graphics buffer, essentially like a 2D canvas that I'm drawing somewhere else, how to make that a texture in the 3D world. And the way to do that is with a function called create graphics. Now I should mention, I have an, another video entirely just about create graphics that will be linked to in this video's description if you want to go look at that. But I'll also explain it in this video so you can just keep watching. Okay, so I'm starting with a very simple WebGL example. The only thing in this example is a sort of empty space with a spinning cube. And the cube, and oops, the code is here. There is a single directional light, there's an ambient light, and I'm kind of rotating this box using the box function to make this cube. Now we know that the texture function uh, works. In, in a previous video, I, so, so I, I also have here, I'm loading like an image of a kitten. So just to, sh to see the texture works, let's add texture and then that kitten. Is that what I called it? Kitten, yes. So if I add that, we now see the kitten on the side, that same kitten on the side of, every, uh, of each side of the box. Now one thing that will be an interesting exercise is how would you make a different image on each side? you're going to have to make this a custom shape. Maybe you make it a bunch of planes, maybe use begin shape, end shape. I'll come back to that in another video. But right now, and, and we should make the light come from the front, actually. So I'm going to have the light come from the front, just directly from the front, this directional light, because I want to be able to see the beautiful, bright kittens as they face forward. Okay. So, but <laughs> what I want to do is not have it be an image. So a way that I can create Create canvas is a function that makes a canvas, and I've made a canvas, a WebGL 3D rendering canvas. But I can also use another function, and I'm going to call it, um, uh, I'm going to create a variable, I'm just going to call it graphics. And I'm going to say graphics equals create graphics. And now I'm going to make a, a, a square image, 200, 200. So I'm now making a graphics object that's 200 by 200. And this is something that can be textured to the box. So this graphics object, it's like a canvas. I can texture it to the box. So let's look now. Let's refresh. Now, I don't see anything. Why do I not see anything? Because when I make a, a, a graphics context, the first thing it is is just transparent pixels. But I can call any of P5's 2D drawing functions on that graphics object. So I could say graphics.background and say background 255. And now we see that is there. And you know what I could do? I could even say uh, graphics.background. Now this is going to uh, flicker, so a little flickering warning here in advance. Random color. You can see this is now just giving it a random background every frame. So whatever I would draw on it. So for example, I could also do something like uh, graphics ellipse, mouse x, mouse y, mouse y uh, 20, and I could say fill, oh no, graphics.fill uh, 255, 0, 255. Now watch what this will do. Look, as I move the mouse around, I'm kind of drawing on that graphics object, and it's still textured to the, each side of the cube. Now, what, when would you want to do this? Number one is just when you want to do something kind of goofy or interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sure you can think of creative uses of this more than I can. But here's a reason why you might actually have to use it. At present, I, I, I don't know that this will always be true, but at present, the only way to render text in 3D is to actually use, the, with the text function, is to take the, p place the text on a 2D, um, 2D graphics context and then make that a texture. So for example, if I wanted to um, have a message like uh, let love equal, uh, uh, I'm going to make another graphics context. Graphics equals create, oh no, love equals create graphics. Um, <laughs> graphics. So my kids used to say, instead of breakfast, breakfast or breakfast. And I feel like every time I say graphics, I'm saying it wrong. It should be graphics. Anyway, create graphics. Uh, uh, no, no, no. I have lost my train of thought. Uh -huh. 300 comma 100. And then I'm going to say um, love dot um, fill uh, 
255, and I'm going to say love te uh, text align center, and then I'm going to say love text 100 uh, the word love 150 comma 50. So this now should be an, a, a two-dimensional graphics context that's 300 by 100 that uh, has the word love in it. So first, just to like see that this is working, let me texture it. Oops. All right, what happened? What did I do wrong here? Create. Oh, you know what? Hold on a sec. Interesting. Oh, whoa. Okay, so one thing that just happened there, which I wasn't aware of would happen, and let's say love.text size uh, 64 to make it bigger, is that so here we go. Now, one thing you'll notice is, again, the, a an image, a texture, a graphics thing is transparent by default. So I'm actually just seeing those letters on the side, but the rest of that cube is transparent. If I had said love.background and I said zero, for example, this now I don't see that cube as transparent anymore. Um, so that's an important thing to notice. Um, and I could make it semi-transparent, like I could say 255, 255, 255 comma 100. So now it's like semi-transparent. So there's a lot of possible things I can do here. Okay, but there was an important thing I wanted to mention, which is that when I made, um, when I made, uh, and I wanted this to be more in the center. There we go, that's more in the center. Um, when I made the graphics context not a square, like 300 comma 200, it broke. So I'm not sure whether this is a bug in the P5 WebGL at present or whether this is just something that you actually really have to be conscientious of, but because what I would have expected it to do was take that image and kind of like squish it onto the onto the side of the cube, but it's not doing that at present. So that's something I might have to investigate in the future. Um, but what I wanted to do is like, what I was actually thinking is what if I, let's just take this out for a second. What if I just wanted the text to appear and almost look flat? The way that I would probably do that would be to say texture love plane 300 comma 200. So a plane is a flat surface with a given width and a height. So if the text itself is exactly, um, uh, if the, if the off-screen canvas is exactly 300 by 200, if I make the plane 300 by 200, it should map directly. So let's take a look at that. And that also did not work. So what's the issue? Ah, look at this. So it looks like the issue is, at present, P5 WebGL can only take square textures. This is a bit of a problem. So to me, I feel like this is a bug because I know for a fact that this kitten image was not a perfect square image, so there's no reason why P5 can't figure out how to take a non-square image and kind of squish it or, or stretch it onto a non-square or a square uh, piece of geometry. So, but I'm gonna leave that aside. Maybe sometime by the time you're watching this, there'll be some information in the comments or the video description about how that's fixed. But no matter, if all I wanted to do was display text, there's no reason why I couldn't just make, you know, I can, uh, for now what I can do is I can make my graphics object and plane, uh, and plane object match size. I can position the, this in the center the way that I want to. I can make it have a transparent background and I can say, uh, use that as a plane and here we go. So whoops, what have I done? So I need to say text align Whoa, okay, hold on, I'm missing a couple things. Text align center, uh, the create graphics, I wanted it to be 300 by 300. I messed up some stuff. Oh, whoa, oh, because I, I changed that. This was something I was using previously. Sorry, everybody. And now, there we go. So, and by the way, if I take this out, now I have just text in 3D that appears 2D. The reason why I'm showing this to you is because now if I put the rotation back in, if I put the lighting back in, we can see this is now just appearing like text in 3D, which is what I wanted to show you in the first place. 
So here's an exercise for you. Uh, find some interesting 2D animation uh, generative designs. For example, you could take this uh, fractal tree design that I do a video about, which, who's, which co the code is over here. I'll link to both of these in the video's description. Can you make this tree a texture in on a, 3D, a piece of 3D geometry? What happens if you texture to a sphere, a torus, a cube, that type of thing? So give that a try and see how that goes. Thanks for watching.